what's all like about him are fine with me. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you guys for joining me. Today, we're going to finally get into this relationship Q&A. You guys have been asking me for it, even though y'all was asking me for the Q&A, but then when I would put the Q&A box up, y'all wasn't asking y'all questions. But it's okay, y'all finally asked a bunch of questions. I got some questions that I always get asked anyway. I wrote a couple of them down so I don't forget anything. Um, and now we're just gonna go through them rapid fire style. Okay, babe, so we're gonna get straight into it, okay? And I'm just gonna call these questions out and give y'all my honest answers, okay? So, first off, how long have y'all been? Yes, I got my I got my little cue cards. Um, how long y'all been together? Me and my husband got together officially in 2017. So what's that? Six years ago. Um officially but i probably have been dating this man and you know on and off for a while i met him i've known him since i was 23 24 years old let's just put it like that um but we officially got together in 2017 how long before he proposed um so again we got together in 2017 he proposed to me in 2020 so three years technically, but again, it was a little history before 2017. How did he propose? If you have not watched my proposal story, that video is a couple videos back. I will post the link. It was such a beautiful proposal in Miami on a yacht with all of our close friends and family. So the proposal, the actual how did he propose, it was um, floating through the sky from the back of a plane. So yeah go watch the proposal story it's so funny it's good go check it out how did i know he was the one um i don't feel like there's one answer to that um you know we had a lot of history i've grown a lot with my husband but i knew you know it was just something that i felt with him like i felt this security i felt this sense of you know i could finally let my guard down let him lead me we just we have always had like this crazy, crazy strong vibe, this connection. He's always felt so familiar to me, even though, you know, I hadn't known him. It felt like we had known each other forever. Um, he comes from a good home, good background. He held the same, he held the same like values and morals that I did or some that I didn't even know that I did. And um, he taught me so much. At the time when I was dating him, like, I had probably, if you would have asked me, I probably would have said like, oh no, I don't see myself getting married or I, I, I don't want to get married or whatever the case may be. Truth is, I had just not found anybody that I felt valued marriage the same way I did, that I felt like would, you know, cherish and uphold those vows. So I had just kind of pushed it to the back of my mind or I had started to convince myself that I didn't care about getting married. It wasn't until I actually met my husband and you know, and heard his views and heard his values where I was like, I do want to get married. <laughs> like, this is actually what I want. And I actually found somebody that shares those same like values and those same standards. And it was just like, yes. Okay, next up. What is your favorite thing about him? Oh my God, like, that's a crazy question. Cause y'all know I got more than one favorite thing about my husband, like, of course. But if I had to say, hmm. Mm. okay my favorite thing about him is that he above all is honest and he does what he say he gonna do every single time like you you don't have to guess with him you know what i'm saying he's very he's a very like honest person he's gonna tell you how it is even sometimes you don't even want to hear that shit but he's gonna tell you how it is and that man gonna do what he say he gonna do that's been attractive for me from the start like it's my favorite thing about him or one of them least favorite thing about him baby what india i already said even the things i don't like about him are fine with me even if i didn't even if i did have something i would not be telling y'all over here please no it's my husband i love everything about him okay what's next what's next what's next 
Y'all would not even believe that I was recording for like 20 minutes and the camera wasn't recording. So I gotta do this shit all over again. It's okay, because I said I was gonna do this and I said I was gonna get it over with and I'm getting it over with. Oh my God, I said such good stuff and I wanna remember everything that I said. Okay, how much did we spend on a wedding and how long did we save? Okay, y'all, so... <sighs> Okay, our initial wedding budget, once we figured out how much stuff really costs and all of that stuff, um, was 100000 We did go over that. We did have to up it in the end to $150,000. Um, but for everything total, I'm going to say we probably spent somewhere minimum one hundred and fifty, dollars no more than 200000 So somewhere in between there. Um, and that's for everything over the whole course of like planning and prepping. I'm talking wedding, honeymoon, venue, dresses, you know, everything, like literally everything. As far as how long we saved, I can't really speak to that, but I can tell you how long we planned. And so I got engaged in March of 2020 and I got married in May of 2022. So about, and I started planning my wedding probably a couple months after I got engaged. So I'm gonna say um, a solid two years of planning. Um, how do you overcome obstacles in your relationship? So we really don't have a lot of obstacles. I'm trying to think now of like, I'm trying to think of like an obstacle that we have with each other. I mean, we face obstacles in life as a couple, but actually with each other in our relationship, I don't feel like we have very many obstacles at this point. Um, I'm trying to think of something and I, I'm coming up blank, but I guess how we have overcome obstacles in the past is, you know, just by communicating, obviously, that's the obvious answer, communicating with each other, also just by respecting each other. You know, we, we respect one another. I mean, we love each other. We know we don't want to be without each other. You know, you know, we know like we don't see a life without the other. So you know, we give each other respect, we give each other grace, and we move forward. What changes have you made since becoming a wife? Cooking, traveling, etc. Um, so I can't say that anything was like just changed overnight like that. Um, you know, as we have grown in our relationship over time, I feel like of course some things have changed. Um, but I didn't, I wouldn't say that something just changed overnight just because we got married. Um, it's been more of like a, more of the kind of changes that you don't see mindset shift, um, and things like that. Um, as we got more serious in our relationship, because I mean, let's just be clear, we got married, but we were already like living together and you know, that kind of role was already being played, I guess you could say. But, um, I feel like, like I said, once we actually got married, it's more, it's been more of a mindset shift and more of like thinking and planning for the future more than anything. It wasn't just like a behavioral change overnight because I'm a wife now, because I've been, you know, a wife, if that makes sense. <laughs> I say that in the most humble way, but um, I've been moving like that basically. Of course, like once we got, you know, to a certain point in our relationship, my man loved a home cooked meal. He loves, he loved a home cooked meal. So I had to get on board with that a, a while back. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's, we can go out to eat and we could order food every now and then, but too many days in a row, he's gonna be like, all right, now, where my, where my food at? Like, he, he loves a home cooked meal. So I definitely got more into my cooking. Um, I always could, I've always been a good instruction follower. Like you give me the recipe, you give me the instructions, I can make whatever. But um, I had to just get, and then I just took more of a liking to it. I, I actually started to enjoy it and, you know, really started to get creative with my meals. And even sometimes he helps me in the kitchen. Like he comes in the kitchen, he's very inquisitive and very like, he wants to see what I'm doing and see how to do this. And, you know, so... Sometimes that's our little like bonding time where we could just be in the kitchen. I'm doing dinner. He's helping out, whatever, whatever. So um, definitely cooking more. Um, I feel like we travel, you know, we travel. We've been traveling since we've been together. Like we always, that we always would take a little trip together or fly me out. Fly me out. Um, definitely was getting flewed out way back when. <laughs> 
as far as changes since becoming a wife, you know, like I said, other than like the, the smaller things like cooking and, you know, just making sure to take care of the house and stuff like that. You know, a big, bigger change that I had to make was kind of like within myself, just like for me, y'all know I'm a Libra. I don't like conflict. I don't like confrontation. I'm, you know, I'm a keep the peace kind of girl. My husband is an Aries. And if you know anything about Aries, man, they could be a little fiery. Um, so my number one rule, like I always tell people, and this could be a great rule to have in your relationship or your household. When one person is angry or raging or when one person is in their feelings and they feeling their emotions and they going through it, that's not the time for you to be in your feelings and your emotions and going through it as well. Like y'all both can't be raging at each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you can pick your battles and literally like let that person have time to feel what they feeling, express themselves, get it out. And then you have time to regroup and come back and say, okay, I didn't like this or I didn't like how you made me feel or this made me feel this way or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But don't try to beat that person mad or don't try to match their energy when they're on 10 and you coming up to 10. Now, both of y'all on a thousand. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't it doesn't work. It's, it's always going to end chaotically. So um, I feel like if you can just channel your, you know, what I'm saying channel your energy and just say, you know what, let me step back. You know, you have you're express you're obviously expressing your anger, you're expressing that you're upset, you're hurt, whatever the case may be. Let me just, you know, you don't want to invalidate that person's experience or that person's emotions. Let them go through it, feel what they feel it, and then y'all can regroup when the anger has left or you know what I'm saying, the rage has left, and then y'all can talk about things and try to see eye to eye from there. So I feel like, you know that was something that I had to work on, you know, like for me, it was just like, cause the next question is, what do y'all argue about the most? Child, we don't argue. Like we really don't argue. And that's not even like, if we do argue, it's about something so silly and it's literally not even a real argument. Um, but we used to argue. I'm not even gonna lie. We used to argue. And a lot of it I felt like was my mouth. Um, my husband is in no way, shape or form. <laughs> tolerating any type of disrespect like it's just not it's just you know and I feel like you know from past relationships or things that I had seen or you know whatever whatever you just be feeling like you could mouth off and you know it just it didn't it, it never worked in my favor I say that like it never worked in my favor it always just got me got us nowhere so for me I had to you know figure out okay don't talk to him like that or don't, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and for him the same way, he doesn't disrespect me or talk to me crazy. So I can give him that, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I give him the utmost respect and he gives me the same. So respect, you know what I'm saying? That's how we going to overcome these obstacles and that's how we not going to argue. Okay. Um, does my husband have kids? No, he does not have kids. Neither of us have kids yet. Um, where was y'all first date? Y'all, I know women supposed to remember stuff like this, but um, oh, because I remember one part of the date, but where was the first? Oh, I remember. Okay, we went to the um, the Glen Hotel, they had a rooftop bar. I don't remember what the rooftop bar was called, but it was at the top of the Glen Hotel. It was cute. It was a nice little vibe. But I think when we got there, either like the kitchen was closed or something, they wasn't serving food. So we just like had drinks and talked. And then after they was closing, we just walked over to like Hudson Grill. Cause it's like one of the only things that was open over there. And we ate at Hudson Grill and we sat and talked for hours. And I think we went outside and talked for hours. Like um, that was our first date. Are we opposites? No. I would say we're not opposites. I would say we're actually more, we're not alike though, but we're not opposites at all. But we be on the same vibe. I always say like, that's why I always say like, when I say my husband is just so familiar to me, like it's like, it's like we've known each other forever. Like we be on the same wave. Like even, just, you know how sometimes you'll date somebody like you like the person or whatever, but something they might do or things they might say, it'd be like, you might side eye like, mm kind of weird you kind of 
something. You know what I'm saying? It might just, the energy just might be like, dang, like it's a foreign type of energy. Never with him. Like never. I mean, we could be somewhere and somebody be talking and say something and we might catch each other eye or like we might text each other like, that was weird as hell. Or you know what I'm saying? Like we just be on the same wave. Like we, we really do. Not opposites. Our favorite thing to do together I think our favorite thing to do together, I can't speak for him, but um, one of my favorite things to do, I know I love traveling with my husband because when you travel with your man, it's like, I just got to show up, baby. Like, I love traveling with him. Um, and of course, like, my husband, like I said, he's very inquisitive and open. So when we're traveling, like, he's open to trying new things. You know, he likes to have fun. So... I love traveling together, but I would say probably more than that, even just like when we're just at home with absolutely nothing to do, like just not doing nothing. Even if we're not engaging with each other, we could both just be scrolling on our phones or laying next to each other, watching TV, watching football, whatever it is we're like, I just enjoy his company always have like from the very beginning when we just used to be like hanging out. Like I just enjoy his company, his vibe, his energy. I that's like my favorite thing to do just be around him just spend time like i love it um where did we go on our honeymoon we went to the maldives and we went to um dubai so we spent five days in the maldives at the four seasons fairy islands i loved that resort oh my god it was probably one of the best best vacations I've ever had um the service was top 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 tier that made the trip even more amazing like I oh my god I loved the Maldives it was beautiful truly truly be truly truly beautiful there we did go during what was like monsoon or rainy season so it did rain a lot but even with the rain like it was still beautiful we had this beautiful overwater bungalow that was so 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 amazing like the views like so even when it rained we just opened up the doors open up the windows like the rain ain't stopped nothing I got so much sleep because <laughs> like literally the days leading up the weeks leading up to that wedding baby we we did a lot the bachelorette trip the the party like we did a lot so by the time that honeymoon came we were so tired and relaxed on that honeymoon but um the rain didn't stop nothing we still like even when it you know when it rained it would stop raining and be fine and sunny so we would bike we biked everywhere on the resort um we went to all the restaurants we swam in the pool we swam in the ocean we got to still do everything we want to do even though it was rainy season um, and then we spent another four days in Dubai after that, um, which we stayed at another four seasons, but in the business district. So it was more busy, kind of like a downtown vibe, <clears throat> but I loved Dubai. Like I have no complaints. I loved my honeymoon. It was so special. Um, the only complaint is I want to go back to both places. Okay. How is it with us working together? So, um, it's not like. I would have thought, really, if um, if you guys don't know, my husband and I opened a tax office here in Atlanta last season, so last year, um, and unbeknownst to me, I was going to be running the dang on office, but uh, yeah, like, my husband and I are both pretty much the GMs of the office, we, you know, I oversee the day-to-day -day operations, we're both there in the office pretty much every day throughout the season, so, but we don't have that energy of, like, I'm tired of tired of you or you know like it's it hasn't it hasn't been that at all it's actually fine you know we work well together i feel like you know if one of us needs to go do something or whatever one person backs the other up so that you know we we don't have any conflicts working together and we still come home and you know i try to leave work at work and come home and be at home but um we we haven't had any issues working together that i see i can't speak for him but he don't seem to be giving i'm sick of this energy um last but not least the question i got the most and i get all the time is how is it working in the club as a wife because i mean and i guess people just feel like as a wife why are you in the club And honestly, <laughs> honestly, child, like, it's just a job. Same as anybody else's job. Um, 
I've been working in the club for a long time, like 10 plus years. Um, I was working in the club when my husband met me. Um, given, you know, my job then was a bottle service. Now I work at the bar, so it's a little slightly different. Um, but the club atmosphere is still the club atmosphere. It, to be honest, it doesn't affect my relationship at all. Um, for one, you know, I made the decision to work in the club still at this point. Um, because if you know anything about working in the club, especially as long as I have, it's kind of like free money. Um, so I haven't, you know, I haven't decided to let it go just yet. Um, my husband does not really interfere with that decision. I, I really honestly think whether I work or don't work really makes him no difference. <laughs> it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really has no bearing on what he got going on or what our household has going on. So I really don't think he thinks about it too much at all. Um, again, I respect my husband to the utmost. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing anything to disrespect my husband or bring any problems to our household. I go to work, I make my money, I come home. Um, so the answer to that question is, it's, it's normal. Um, it's not, it, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't, I think people want to know like how it affects my relationship because people just associate, you know, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I think when you get to a certain point in your relationship, people assume that your man would take you out of the club and, um, yeah, I, I can't speak to that notion. You know, I feel like if you know anything about incomes in a household, you know, that's kind of self-explanatory answer for you right there. Um, you know, multiple incomes are just always going to be better than one. For me, it's, it's just another job. Um, so, you know, what I have seen, I think ideally I did see myself being done by now, especially once I had gotten married, actually. But... Um, it just hadn't been the time. I had, it hadn't been the time and I wasn't really ready. So I'm still there, child. Still making my little coins. Um, because the one thing that really irritates me is because I don't want people to see me working at the club and then think they know or have some type of valid opinion on my husband. Like, cause that ain't got nothing, literally it has nothing to do with him or, you know, or, or anything like, you know what I'm saying? So Especially like guys will try to do little weird shit like, oh, if I was your man, if I was your man, you wouldn't be working in this like, boy, for sure not. You're not. And, you know, I think um, some women don't realize that, you know, certain things like being taken out of the club and all of those things can be a control tactic. So, you know, pay attention to somebody's behavior and somebody's intent behind taking you away from your source of income. That Pay attention to somebody's behavior and somebody's intent behind taking you away from your source of income to have for yourself. And that's, that's, that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, pay attention to the intent behind that. I think that I have covered all the questions so far. If you guys want me to, I will definitely do a part two. Um, this was fun. This is a big chunk of my video was not recording so i hope i didn't miss anything um but yeah one thing that i could tell you guys you know if i could give anybody a piece of advice um on working on a relationship or working toward their marriage respect is the ultimate 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 factor in a successful relationship in my opinion um i know people say it's trust i know people say it's love um but I feel like respect trumps all of that simply because when you respect someone, it forces you to behave in a certain manner. It forces you to um, allow grace in, the, in certain situations. You treat them in a certain manner at a certain level. When you respect your partner and truly, truly respect your partner, great things can happen. So. 
keep that in mind guys and thank you guys so much for joining me if you have enjoyed this video please go ahead and hit the thumbs up leave me a comment make sure you guys are subscribed more videos to come and if you enjoyed this let me know below in the comments how you feel let me know give me some feedback guys and i look forward to seeing you guys again bye